the second middleweight title fight between Nino Benvenuti and Emil Griffith, September 29th, 1967. Nino stripping down for action. I'm Don Dunphy at ringside along with Jim Gordon. Welcome to this middleweight championship bout. There are the bright red trunks of Nino Benvenuti if you're watching in color. If you're not, there are the darker trunks. Griffith and the white trunks. On April 17th, Benvenuti won a unanimous decision to take the title from Griffith. Round one of a 15-rounder. Griffith's trunks are pretty high, too. You're, you're going to see action as far as this goes, and many predicted it will go all the way. He's 5'11", Griffith 5'8". The fight was postponed from last night. At yesterday's weigh-in, Ben Venuti was 160, the middleweight limit, and Griffith 155. Today they both dropped a little. Ben Venuti was 159 and three quarters, Griffith 154. They're wearing eight ounce gloves, scoring here in New York on a round basis with a supplementary point system if the rounds come out even on a card. They're wearing eight ounce gloves, three minute rounds. The mandatory eight count is in effect if a man is floored. If he is floored at or near the bell, he must arise before the count is finished. The count will continue at the bell. And the three knockdown rule is in effect. coming up <coughs> coming up to the halfway mark of this 15 round bout at Shea Stadium <laughs> around the fifth round Benvenuti was finding Griffith well with the jab <laughs> The hook was good. And good jabs by Griffith. The 
best round of the fight. Almost over. Jim, that looked like a real championship round. Well, the first time tonight, both these men showed the professional capability they've got. It was almost as if both corners came to an agreement and said, All right, let's stop the horsing around and fight. And it was a beautiful round. Round 11. Five rounds to go, as Jim said. Tommy Walsh, the arbiter. supposed to have the better jab but the jab is what is uh, scoring effectively for Griffith as you can see there have been no knockdowns each was floored once in the previous fight That blood is proving a problem for Benvenuti. It's just pouring out of the nose now. took the uppercut out of the mothballs and used it there. Well, that Benvenuti's got to be tired to throw him that way. Griffith is going right hand crazy as he did in the previous fight when he scored a knockdown. It was a flash knockdown.
Round 14, half over. question in my mind that regardless of how the fight goes Griffith is much the fresher of the two at this point less than a minute to go in this round Benvenuti is not as good up to now. Only seconds left in round 14. The bell and Jim. Griffith scored with a good short left hook off his left jab, then Benvenuti came back with a good hard right cross. So they're just about even as far as the punching power goes. There's round 15. Referee Tommy Walsh has them touch gloves, and they do so briefly. This is the 15th and final round. bothered almost from round one by a bleeding nose that was solid by Griffith trying to end it with one shot. Now there's a minute left to go in the fight. again on a round basis with a supplementary point system if the rounds come out even on a card. Ten seconds now, there will be no knockout. And there's the final bell. Now they're not mad at each other anymore. Okay, Jim. Emil Griffith's handlers in the ring now. 
aren't going to wait for the vote of the referee and the judges the way they're rushing around their man to congratulate him. And it's hard to believe this is the same group that was yelling so loud at their man just a little while before. Things are comparatively subdued over in Nino Benvenuti's corner. As the handlers have got their men surrounded, put on his, his robe now. Griffith's still parading around the ring. He finished, as Don pointed out to you, much fresher appearing than the other man. And of course, this is one of the reasons why fight decisions go one way or the other. Ring generalship, the man who finishes in the better position, the man who lands the better punches. There are all kinds of factors that will sway the referee and the judges. The winner by majority vote, and once again, the middleweight champion of the world, Emil Griffith. Well, there you have it, Emil Griffith regains the middleweight championship and continues his undefeated skein as a challenger. Now in five title bouts as a challenger, he has been victorious.